what is clockwise who decided the direction who said that in this very particular direction the clock will rotate and why and do not forget to wait till end to know about a clock which in fact rotates anti clock direction i'm sure you never thought of it and this is where the theory show comes into play hello everyone welcome to another episode of the theory show today we are here to talk about the direction of the clock who decided it and why and as usual it's time to subscribe and without further waiting let's dig in What is clockwise? Well, you would say the direction in which the clock rotates and why is it even a question? Well, you are right. But what if I asked you who decided the direction? Well, the answer is traced back to the ancestor of the modern day's clock, which is sundial clock. Long before the clock were into the common use, the term was sunwise instead of clockwise and which particularly meant in the direction of sun. Now let's understand this in a general manner. Our sun rises in east and sets in west, but physically the sun stays at the same spot. and for this to happen the earth has to rotate in a opposite direction from west to east but remember sun does not travel directly from east to west but rather it takes a path through south which means it rises in east move towards slight south and then to west and this is due to the inclination of earth which is 23.5 degree from the vertical and the sundial was first invented in the northern hemisphere which means the marking was done accordingly that when sun rises in the east it casts shadow on west so the morning marking on the sundial was on the west direction during noon the sun is on slight south side which means it casts shadow on north direction and the noon marking was on the northern side of the sundial and when the sun was about to set in the west it casts shadow on east direction so the evening marking was on the east direction of the sundial and now if you trace this direction on paper of west to north to east you'll find the answer and do not forget the fact that the sundial was invented in the northern hemisphere and it was true only for the northern hemisphere on going south everything was opposite and then came the time for the clock to be made and if you have watched my video on why 24 hours 60 minutes and 60 seconds you'll be knowing that it was swiss company which created the watch and it only chose things which were widely accepted and now the movement of the clock arm was mostly accepted in the manner what we just traced on a paper from west to north to east and that became the clockwise direction because majority of the world's population live in the northern hemisphere you never noticed it right well give a look to the world map now as i mentioned there is in fact a clock which has anti clock direction strange right clock having anti clock moment well but the best known surviving example is a clock at munster cathedral which has anti clock moment nowadays clock which rotates in an anti clock manner are given as a sign of novelty now the question is what role does this direction play in our daily life and the answer is pretty simple typically Every nut, bolt, jar lid are tightened in a clockwise manner and loosened in an anti-clock manner. And this can easily be understood by right hand thumb rule, according to which if you curl your finger in a direction, your thumb points in a direction of force. So if it is in clockwise direction, the force is in this direction, and if it's counterclockwise, the force is in this direction. And you know what? This also has exceptions. Example, flywheel, spinning wheel, and bike pedals are some examples. And at last, one fun fact If you're right-handed, you'll probably draw a counterclockwise circle and if you're left-handed, you'll probably draw a clockwise circle. Why so? Well, let that be for the another episode of the theory show. Well, that's all for the today's episode. And if you like the information, do not forget to give us a big thumbs up and if you're new here and like to be informed and updated, do not forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so that you can keep informed and updated. And if you have such question, do not forget to put them in the comment section below. And remember, we present you one informative episode every week and it's your support which keeps us going. So do not forget to support us. Hope to see you in the next episode. Till then, take care. Goodbye. See you.